Uh, welcome to another fun fishing session. Last fishing session. God, I don't even remember. Uh, I see Tom's last message was in June, so that may have been when the last session was. But I'm. It's uh, it's been a while. So, and the last time we saw the dredger. Yeah, the dredger we saw for, uh, I think, an hour or two, and then everyone kept talking about the, the dredger for a year. It literally... Yes. <laughs> Isolated from Tomato the Person, yes. and I'm just going to use that and just, mm. like, talk about it forever. Yes, I mean, been... like the one session that you were in, apparently it was chaos incarnate. So, like Not... every other session was, you know, peaceful? It question mark. It wasn't. It, 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 it was like shorter know... than normal, and uh, like I didn't even kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one even. That's died. true. That's a bar. I was I, what I wanted to, dude. I was trying really hard to get you to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a couple moments where it was like, you know, a little touch and go on if there'd be a PvP moment. Mm -hmm. But um mm -hmm. As for set up the dredger the idea versus the dredger the man. It's the dredger lore. <laughs> dredger uh, the idea. Immediately <laughs> built around the rest of the fishing sessions. Uh Esmer, uh Lobos's character had a fucking breakdown <laughs> like it's been it, Yeah. It was a wild it just everyone was like what happened to you, man? <laughs> there must always be a dredger. There must always be a dredger. <laughs> yeah, the lore build around. So uh, now that the book is out uh, as a digital PDF, I was like, we got to we got to bring back the dredger. We got to see what's up with that. And now that the system is done and flushed out and good to go, we had we, we had to bring back the dredger. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, and begin a little bit. Do, 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 do. Let me go ahead and I'm going to try and do this without a jump scare. Yeah, there we go. OK, so oh, can scare me. Boo, boo, like a like a sound jump scare. Oh. So our anglers, uh, a little bit of backstory, our anglers have been fishing around for for quite a bit, although, um, you know, as the seasons have changed and passed, um, especially within the area you're in, there hasn't really been a lot of catches, which means our anglers have had to make a lot of difficult decisions selling a lot of their stuff, um, and it has left everyone pretty inexperienced, everyone little back down to, to one. And, uh, you know, had to sell and sacrifice some things to stay alive, which means everyone's gold pieces are now 10, and any wealth or any items you have accrued are now gone. Uh, and so we can start nice and fresh. You guys have heard that the city of Midsummer um, has recently had a, a big boon as far as the fishing industry and how uh, angling has gone. So we, so our our party, San Dredger, uh, will be arriving at the town of Midsummer. And we're going to be using a little bit of art from the book. Uh, Midsummer has turned into a, a, a rather prosperous uh, village, especially being harbor bound. Um, it's got a, quite a bit of a, a, a populace of anglers, uh, of those that, um, I was about to say those that angle, um, those that- <laughs> Yeah, anglers, those that angle. Those that, you know, angle, sometimes <laughs> right, those sometimes of Those who angle. <laughs> um, and yeah, the economy here is kind of booming from the sort of seafaring trade that happens here, um, but it has also attracted a lot of anglers. So let me go ahead and get the music going. And we will get started. If the music will load. Please, Foundry. Please be good. There we go. Nice little ease in so I don't jump scare with some triumphant music. Uh, so, um, the lot of you uh, will be arriving uh, over the draw bridge over to the, uh, the moat. And as you all arrive, let me go ahead and drag your tokens. Do, 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 do. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and start with uh, the party 
minus the dredger who will be making their appearance very shortly. Uh, let me drag. Now everything. I know why you said it was a jump scare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I played it and it just went, bah! and you're like, oh my God, everyone calm down. The music would have absolutely been a jump scare. I had I had Foundry up early and I heard you testing it and it definitely did jump scare me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, anything that happens before those hours are going to be pretty good. Okay. Okay, I have to do this. And... God, why has it been so long since I've done anything in Foundry? There we go. Save changes. Save changes. <clears throat> Beautiful. And... Uh, boop. Uh, welcome, everyone. Oh, yeah. Uh, Coco, you're not poisoned anymore. <laughs> 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 I forgot mean. Coco drank that really bad <laughs> rank coffee. <laughs> it, was, it was like, I'm going to drink all of that. Um, yeah, you guys I arrive. Drink some more. <laughs> you guys arrive over at the drawbridge, entering into the city of Midsummer. Uh, the stage is yours. You guys are free to do as, as you'd like. How Coco's, long have we been walking to here? Coco's been running around. Um, I think yeah. you've been traveling now for like a week. Yeah, Granny's exhausted. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Granny, don't you think this is so exciting? I can't wait. We're going to meet all those kinds of new people. There's going to be a whole new town. A whole new town of people. This is going to be the best, don't you guys think? <laughs> the as, bags as, under Granny's eyes. As Coco runs by, uh, Cajun P tries to like grab the top of her head to stop, stop him from running. Like, oh, calm, okay. calm, calm, calm down. I'm, I'm uh, the other guy. That's. What? 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 Uh... <laughs> you want to conserve yeah. your energy? You want to conserve your energy, little saw? Don't know oh. what you're gonna be expanded in there. Okay, I'm calm. Today's I'm... the day we catch the big one. Calm, baby. In the big city. It's been an age since I've been to a city this large. Uh, it's fairly nostalgic. I'm, um, I'm pretty prepared for them to throw me out, so... Oh, nonsense, pup. We'll explain everything. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna bend down some, so that way Granny can crawl into his back like before. Okay. <gasps> Granny crawls up. Oh, thank you, pup. You're very sweet. I'm too excited! I'm going! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> There goes the little saw. Uh, as well. you approach, you will see uh, several uh, of the armored guards that are watching uh, over on the sort of top of these uh, these scrapers over here and the top of these towers. Um, they see you guys approaching. They give you all a friendly nod, bear included. Looks up, waves. Hello! <laughs> Brings a paw up, tips hat, keeps uh, walking. They give a stoic wave to the party as you guys approach from within. Ooh, right. Guess I'm Cajun Pete out tips his hat. <laughs> as you call. As you Don't guys. <laughs> Sorry. No, as you guys <laughs> approach the center square, uh, you will hear this door open up in here. Uh, entering the dredger. Dredger, <clears throat> you have been hired uh, by Midsummer to take care of all the refuse that seems to be collecting in the various. Uh, matters of of uh of water sources um you're free to keep whatever you fish out uh but anything that it would be deemed worthless the city will still pay you a uh a uh, 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 a nice payment of two copper pieces uh per junk discarded yeah he was hired guiding bolt <laughs> he was hired. <laughs> yeah he got it was him that got hired yeah he was hired after a uh, uh after the the mysterious disappearance of the previous town's dredger it's just so coincidental that there was a second dredger on scene when the first dredger had that really bad accident <laughs> Uh, I remember hearing nothing but horror stories about the dredger. <laughs> um, Coco. Yes. Your best friend has just walked out. A face that you are most familiar with. Oh my gosh. Wait. I don't see him. Should I he's, see him? He's over here. <gasps> All the way over there. Yep. 
Zoom. Laser vision. Oh. <laughs> my. Goodness. I know, I have to make a reaction check to see how fucking absolutely awful Dredger's reaction to something lunging at him from halfway across the fucking courtyard is going to be. Absolutely, absolutely. You want to give? I'm gonna let's do this on a let's do a a a dexterity check on a. I'm gonna say on a ten or higher, he's gonna try to grab you, throw you. Oh, my God. oh no! Uh, Dredger's gonna react viscerally to this, uh, <laughs> believing you to be some kind of creature that lunged out from one of the alleyways by town. Hello! <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna try to throw you into the fountain. Like, okay. oh, how far, oh, do, you, how far no. do you throw me? No. <laughs> 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 And he's gonna, yeah, just gonna, unless you start saying more things other than dredger, 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 he's gonna start trying to haul you over. To Please, it's Coco, your best friend in the whole world. I've missed you so much. And dredger's gonna slowly slow down. He's gonna slow down. He'll lower you back down to head height. What? Hey, you that, uh, you that, um. You're that lizard yeah. from the, uh, from that other town. Oh my gosh, he remembers me because we're best friends. Oh, this is so exciting. Treasure, treasure, how are you? It's been so long. I bet you've gone on so many adventures, done so many amazing things. I've uh, been around town. Uh, you and Dredger. Oh my gosh. Listen, are you, uh, <laughs> He's yeah. are you? Oh Last Dredger saw Coco, they want to get into dredging. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Dredger's looking at you uh, in, a, in a certain kind of way again. You, um, you're looking for a job or something in town. Oh, I mean, yeah, we're just, oh, you have to meet my other best friends. Oh, this is so exciting. There's more guys, of you. There's guys, there's more. Guys! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hear them over. <laughs> Coco's voice echoing think, through the empty streets. I, I think Coco wants streets. us to come c go over there. I'm not 100% sure, though. Oh, what's the harm? Let's go meet Coco's friend. Roger <laughs> isn't blinking as he just stares guys, at all of you. Guys! Guys! What could possibly go wrong? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. This is my best friend, Dredger. Guys, hello. say hello to Dredger. Dredger, say hello to the guys. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Dredger. And Cajun Pete pulls up a hand for shaking. Uh -huh. I don't know you. I'm Cajun Pete. I like you shrimp. You Dredger or you uh... No, I like shrimp. You one of the, you one of them anglers tossing trash into the rivers around here? No, nah, I toss my arm into the river. All right. Try the entire the entire time, not. Cajun Pete still has his hand up as though he's uh, as, like expecting the handshake. Oh, he's gonna reach out to shake your hand, but after the hand is done being shaken you will realize that his palms are so sticky that it takes actual force <laughs> to pull your hand from his. Oh. It makes a kind of like uncomfortable like sound. And Cajun Pete is completely unfazed by it. Yeah, so is Dredger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's incredible. That's quite the grip you got there. I can appreciate that. That's quite a grip you got there too. Oh Ooh, my gosh, Granny Cashew, do you guys feel like... this electricity? <laughs> <laughs> Granny like Cashew they, hops they, off of Brynjar and waddles over to the dredger. She reaches into her pocket and holds out one of her little grandma strawberry candies. Any friend of Coco's is a friend of mine. It's nice to meet you. 
Yeah, there's some easy chew there, Grandma. Dredger does not take the candy. I'm watching my diet. Oh. Minus rep. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that's very responsible of you. She'll pocket the candy again. I respect that. And she hops back on Brynjar. I'm, um, I'm Brynjar Stormclaw. Uh, I'm a bear. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, too. You're all, just to be sure again now, you're all, uh, angler fishing types. None of you are here for garbage or refuse or litter. Step forward. Slime We've been known to angle. <laughs> I, I pulled up my fair share of, of stuff out of the water. I used to have this cup. It was shaped like a dwarf head, but I, I lost it somewhere along the way. We're yeah. looking to catch the big one. You better not be pulling out any more stuff out of the waters of these parts. Understand me? Unless it's flopping around live like. Ah, at this point, I'm just looking for shrimp. Guys, oh, I really, I didn't even, you know what? If it were for Dredger, I never would have found out that fish have souls and that when you eat them, never you're eating you a living being and and <laughs> how important it is to, to really appreciate the fine art of dredging, you know? Well, when you Dredger. pull out, if he pulls out all the garbage, then the fish can thrive. So there's more souls to be uh, fished up. That's so true. And then when you look deep into their little fish eyeballs and their little shrimp shrimp baby eyeballs, you can be like, I'm not just eating you, I'm also eating your spirit. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't That's know. Power. I mean, <laughs> the circle of life is a beautiful thing. thing. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Don't you think, Dredger? Don't you think that's beautiful? Now listen, I'm just here to do my job. Um, oh my gosh! Are you dredging? Are you dredging right now? Where are you dredging? What are you doing? Dredger's gonna stare at Coco, walk over <laughs> to the, the public fountain, and reach his hand and just pull out a bunch of grime and slop from the <gasps> fountain. Well, smiles. I'm learning so much. I've got news for you. Oh yeah? <laughs> One of the fishing environments in urban areas are fountains. So if you God, like it's World of Warcraft. <laughs> if you'd like to start fishing, you can do so right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dredger is always on the <clears throat> clock, guys. This isn't like a. This is not a. This isn't a joke. <laughs> this is. He's dredge. He's dredging. <laughs> he's right on now. the fucking clock. Yeah. He's got a job to do. He's gonna fucking do it. Gotta meet quota. Oh, I like I I can't miss watching a professional at work here. Uh, so to let everyone know, uh, the urban environment has four areas that you can fish from. Fountains being one of them. Uh, the creek that is outside by the moat is also another area you can fish at. You could also uh, head on over to the harbor, another area that you can fish at. And the dredger, you would also have been formed. Um, and it would be given access a you would have been given a sewer key uh, for you all to explore the sewers of town where you can also fish at. So, so Dredger has a sewer key. Yes. Good for all of us. Good. That's good for all of us to use <laughs> as friends. <laughs> yeah, tomato. <laughs> I mean, you guys can call my gas. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the fountain itself is, uh, surprisingly deep, and you actually see some things moving around within the depths itself. Um, the fountain system, uh, while it looks very small, uh, has a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, piping and, and, uh, like, reservoirs of water area, uh, where fish have been known to reside in. So, no time like the present, who here would like to go fishing in the fountain me oh dredge is gonna dredge yeah absolutely fuck it 
We ball. All right. Uh, Anyone we, else? We ball. We ball. Uh, what about what about Cobb? Hey, fuck it. We ball. Okay. If I uh, see fishing, I'm fishing. Uh, I will <laughs> roll for Cajun Pete. Uh, Tom went to go grab his food, but I'm assuming that he will also ball. I mean, why wouldn't he ball? Imagine saying you're not going to fish yeah. in the fishing set. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't really feel like doing the mechanic today. Look, look, I don't want to be like, you know, like you have to do it. It's just you Dude, have the freedom I, to I just do it. I'm just imagining like normal like townsfolk going through this town square and just hear like as like fishing lines go into the fountain. Yep. You're getting, you're getting some looks. You're getting, you're getting some looks. <laughs> A bunch of psychos. <laughs> All right, let me. The second we walk in, <laughs> there's some water. <laughs> some people get past their line. All right. Ooh. Fucking country folk. So before we get started, um, it is currently winter. Uh, so I will be rolling on the winter table and let you guys know Ooh. what. It's winter in midsummer. Yep. I have a. My fur is twice as thick. Here oh. we go. Oh, a little, little puffy guy. Cute. Okay. Uh, so. <clears throat> oh, this isn't so bad. Uh, a little bit. Let me get the the weather effect going. Yeah, that's not. That's what is that? Uh, Twenty eight. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It, it is a little punishment, but that's, it's honestly very minor. Uh, there is uh, a little bit of snow today. It's a cold and snowy day, which does mean that there is a slight, the slightest penalty uh, to your fishing table roll. So slight, it's uh, only a minus one to the fishing table. Um, last time, I think we were still using a D20. Fishing tables have expanded to a D100 now. So minus one is a very, very minor penalty. I just so, keep getting robbed in this game. This is ridiculous. What are you talking about, dude? Um, <laughs> so now, Dredger, if you would be so kind, say you're, you're, you're going in, you're doing your noodling, you're reaching in to see what you can find, you're digging in, you're going to be digging around this fountain for an hour. Um, so... <laughs> what? All of digging in the public fountain yeah, for an just, hour. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> problem with this town. Like, if I lived here, I'd be so fucking mad to see <laughs> be like, be like, we gotta do something about these fish. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going in. You're digging up all this grime and dirt. Which is yeah. worthless. What You're the hell are these people hey! doing? <laughs> the hey, the dredger, freaks? you guys are the fucking problem. The dredger is paid to be here. He has a fucking <laughs> job. Like you, you five are weirdos. He's literally working for the city right now. Uh, so, dredger with an initiative of twenty-one, give me a one d one hundred roll. All right, what 67. do we got? Ooh, sixty-seven. That is sufficient. The ba ba ba. Let me go over to our techniques. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, here we are. Technique list. Dredge uh, does the following. You are considered a novice dredger. For you, the treasure of the fishing area is not the fish, but the discarded refuse. One angler's trash is a dredger's treasure. While utilizing this technique, when you you uh, make a fishing table roll, result is between the threshold determined by your rank of this technique. You instead roll on the junk table of the environment you're fishing in. Any other rolls hook nothing. So any roll between a 36 and an 80 is a roll on the junk table, baby. And now we roll on the junk table as you seem to have, uh, during this time, you seem to have grabbed something. I need from you another 1D100 roll. You don't even have to make a check for this. Okay, uh, so I'm pressing the Input, it's not taking it. I guess I'm gonna retype it. Sure. D100. I do not know why it is not letting me re-roll this. Uh, I think my forge might be having a problem. Yeah, you, you wanna try uh, uh, restarting and see if maybe you're disconnected real quick? Yeah. I definitely don't wanna roll for you. 
Yeah, I'm worried I'm gonna like queue like 15 rolls here. <clears throat> That's okay, I'll take the first one. I'm downloading the world. Yeah, the world is massive. IO is a big place. I apologize. Okay. Uh, well, you... Rolling a <coughs> D 191. Ooh. Ooh. You were once the dredger, now Sylvester. Hold on, let me get you a switch. Oh, <laughs> oh buddy. Let me go and get you a switch real quick. <laughs> the, oh. The dredger. A 91. Ooh. You have found a collection of sea glass. In the local found. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so someone, someone seems to have, uh, someone seems to have uh, tossed in over there. This little uh, leather pouch contains a handful of sea glass stones collected from the shore. Uh, give me another roll. One d ten, please. Ten. Ten. All right. Uh, so you're starting pretty strong. This collection of sea glass is valued at 10 gold pieces. Yeah. <laughs> you just see this leather pouch of all these shards and stuff. You see the that, uh, what does the dredger do? Dredger just like calmly and casually pulls it out, gives it a sniff, puts it in his bag. All right. I can see why they hired him. <laughs> He's a real professional. Doing great work here. Great work. Uh, Granny, <laughs> give me a 1d100 roll, please. Ooh, we're doing fountain fishing, right? Yeah. Uh, you have caught something on the line, and it's <gasps> given you quite a bit of a fight. Uh-oh. Go ahead and give me a fishing check using your enchanted fishing. It will be in your active abilities. Uh... I do not see it. Hold on. Uh, if uh. you mouse over to features, you will see active features, and you will see enchanting fishing. I see bardic inspiration. Hmm. You... Because I'm... I'm. All right, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Because I can see it <coughs> on your character sheet. That's weird. Yeah. Should I refresh? Maybe. Yeah, maybe you guys, like... Disconnected. Yeah. Forge just here. had a bit of a problem. Had a little, no, I'll, had a little I'll, I'm refreshing now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, when you mouse over features, it'll be. It should be next to uh, um, active abilities. I'm coming in. Granny's coming. You're good. Granny spaces out for a half second. <laughs> <laughs> Watches as the uh, dredger's just, there's like a pile of like sludge and grime at the dredger's feet that he just tossed in there. All right, 11 uh, for this bite. Um, yeah, it kind of begins to pull down a little bit on you. So uh, that is a failure. However, <laughs> you do get another another chance. <laughs> Granny pulls. That is a success. You begin <gasps> reeling in this. Uh, uh, you begin reeling in this fish, um, and you begin to see its form. Um, it looks to be. <laughs> you reel. You see it's a form at first, and then you recognize what you're about to try and fish out. Uh, it has a very ob like a very round shape to it. Go ahead and give me a final check. Uh. uh, and then you realize what you're fishing up it is it not a fish, but indeed a turtle, a very <gasps> aggressive <gasps> turtle. This uh, thing. Oh, no. Turtle in the fountain. <laughs> yeah, like it, apparently, this thing's been swimming around the pipes for for quite a bit. Uh, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, we got your turtle. Oh so. yeah, that's right. <laughs> You got yourself a knife tail snap jaw. An aggressive. How big is this thing? Uh, it's considered small, so you are literally fishing out about a, 
I'd say uh, this thing's <laughs> massive too. What the fuck? Yeah, this thing is about three feet tall. And as you pull it out, uh, Brynjar's gonna need to help you because this thing is 145 pounds. <laughs> oh like, my God. God. Pop, pop, <laughs> help. <laughs> I can't lift immediately, it. Immediately, immediately he's helping. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Thank this, you. Uh, this is an aggressive tur turtle. Uh, it starts snapping at you. It starts like, <laughs> and it, as if it's trying to bite you. Oh, oh. It's trying to bite you right now. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. This hard shelled vegetarian has developed its bite as a method of defense rather than hurting prey. Some lo locals enjoy using this reptile as security for their own ponds and garden due to its aggression. Though doing so comes with risk as it is notoriously difficult to train. So you pull up this like three foot, like massive thing that seems to have been like lodged in like one of like the, the reservoirs or the pipes within this fountain itself. Um, it is valued at four gold pieces. I don't think this is supposed to be in the fountain. Oh it looks goodness, delicious. It's so big. It's looking around and snapping right now. It's trying to. It's We're trying gonna to... have turtle soup forever. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Hear me out. Oh. Train that, and then <laughs> ride it into battle, Granny. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> where would you guys like to store this turtle? <laughs> Uh, he's gonna pull out the leash. iron pot. <laughs> Is that oh? He's gonna uh, scoop out some fountain water, put it to the side, and put the put the turtle in. Uh, how big is how big is this pot? <laughs> uh, it fills the pot, and it's uh, it's kind of it's two little it's two little front legs. It's two little front legs right now are dangling over the pot. It's kind of calming down a little bit because it's kind of resting on its back a little bit. So it's it's kind of like closing its eyes. And then it slowly like falls asleep slash passes out from where it's at oh, right now. Oh, he just he was just tuckered out. That's all. Cute. Are we can name him Granny. Oh dear. I probably just sure. scared that he was swimming around in such a such an area. Coco, would you like to name the little one? I would love to. <laughs> I need to think about this. This is a very big important decision. It is I'm a very go, big decision. I'm gonna think about Take it. Take your think time. It. Okay, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at the town. I'm gonna clear my mind and be calm, like you teach me. Oh, this is an interesting Coco development. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right, Cajun Pete. I'm assuming you're fishing in this fountain. Oh yeah, I'm sticking my arm in there. All right, so you're are you doing it like right next to the treasure while he's also reaching in, getting all the slop out? Yep. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I'm not I'm not going after what you're pulling out. I'm seeing if there's anything alive in here. Yeah. Well, uh, you best make sure you only pull out stuff that's alive. All right. Let's just be careful now. All right. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. The, the treasure just sounds so saliva. -y. <laughs> oh yeah, I try to make it as wet of a sudden <laughs> oh no uh, yeah that's awesome Ooh, uh you got yourself a a, a bite right on your thumb it's pulling Ow. it's pulling around a little bit go ahead and give me a noodling check please uh noodling noodling Ooh, uh it gives you a hard bite uh which opens your hand a little bit uh, it releases, and it swims deeper into the fountain. The fountain labyrinth, I'm going to call it at this point. Nope. And, uh, uh, realize, realizing that it's escaped after the bite, reaching further to the point where, like, my head is in the fountain. <laughs> and then, like, and that that's where I stay until everybody else is gone. All right. Coco. Yes. Uh, you doing some, you doing some fishing? Yes. Coco yeah. whips around. I think it should be named Bubble Bobble. What a delightful name. Oh, Bubble like Bobble it? it is. Oh, I'm yes, so excited. Coco. Oh, Bubble Bobble. Okay, I have to fish now. <laughs> you cast the okay. line. Give me a 1D100. 
but I'll kiss little one. I'm focusing. I'm calm. <laughs> this is a very uneventful hour for you. I'm calm. I'm at peace. For one hour. Nothing I'm bored! <laughs> 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 Tom. Cool. I can feel something moving down there. It's the big one. It's the big one. In a fountain? <laughs> it's been in the fountain this whole time. It's underneath the city. <laughs> in the walls. What if it's the city itself? I uh, I do want to let you know, uh, thanks to Sci-Fry, we have, uh, for those that are curious, yes. Uh, we have created a stat block for the big one in the book. The big one. <laughs> He's I, out there, <clears throat> and you can catch him today on Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> on yes, kit, sir. On Backer Kit. <laughs> buy the PDF or a hardcover today. I, uh, we have made the big one an eldritch entity. <laughs> 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 okay, dude. I now I just picture an entire like like deadly catch like boat let's sinking. Like it's the big one. You gotta you gotta catch it in the deep oceans, <laughs> and it takes the form of what the angler believes the big one looks like. The bumblefish. <laughs> My God, he is real. <laughs> <laughs> Come, come, look out! It's the big one! <laughs> <laughs> yep. There he is. <laughs> My destiny. <laughs> All right, Cobb. Go All ahead right, D100. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Much like Coco. Uh, this is a very uneventful hour for you. Maybe, maybe, you know. There's only so much stuff that can go in the fountain, you know? It's a good point. We gotta go I'm bigger. honestly surprised this turtle that was in there. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, Brynjar, please approach the fountain. Oh, all right. And then it's a D100, one D one hundred. Here it comes. Minus one. <laughs> uh, Seventy nine. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> here comes Brigyard for the W. Uh, <laughs> a giant chomp. God damn it! I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me, the the is here. Give me a noodling check. Yep, <laughs> that seems about right. Okay, uh, you uh, feel a giant chomp on your paw. Uh, it's very aggressive to you. It might be breaking skin, but you are pulling up a very round creature from the fountain. Give me another Ooh. check, please. And, <laughs> and with that, another three foot turtle is pulled out of oh the fountain. <laughs> the chosen yeah. one. <laughs> There was the uh, turtles in here. <laughs> turtles in there. He was about to bite <laughs> yeah, you're just pulls up the turtle and goes, ooh. Uh huh. It's like it's got your it's it's got its mouth wrapped around your paw. It's just <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you, you have exactly two seconds or else I'm gonna bite you in return. It stops. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna set it what down on the ground. He's the turtle whisperer. <laughs> oh, I was gonna have you name it as well, Coco. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is the I best day this. ever. Uh, quick aside, though. Yes. Just, just in case I forgot. Yes. Do we get EXP for fucking slam dunking these things back in the water? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll allow that. Yep. All right, so here's a question. We have, we have Bubble Bubble was their name, I believe you called them. Bubble 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 Bubble. Okay, so we have one already and I only have one pot. So this one would be sort of sitting around on the ground. Do we want to keep them or do we want to 
put him back in the water because it kind of feels fucked up to put a turtle back in a fountain. Whoa, I mean, oh, I can go back out to the turtle. What is the turtle one? Pedro, you gotta ask. You gotta ask. What is the turtle one? Oh, all right, one? all right, all right. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna hold up the turtle. I am established a relationship with. <laughs> say, 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 Slappers, where do you want to be? Oh, you've been given the name Slappers. Would you like to go back into the fountain, or would you like to stay with us? Uh, the turtle falls asleep. Oh, it's an eepy lad. Why do they just fall asleep? Maybe it can't really stay awake outside of water. Can I carry it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a hundred plus pounds and you're like 40 soaking wet, but you're more than welcome to. Okay. Hold out hands. <laughs> no, no. As... <laughs> Very um... cartoonishly. <laughs> like an Acme anvil being dropped on Coco. <laughs> uh, Coco takes it with ease and lifts it over her head. Oh my God. What? Coco's got 16 cute. strength. Who's a cute oh. slappers? My god. <laughs> Granny Cashew stares at Coco. <laughs> Who's my baby boy? Who's my baby boy? <laughs> Aww. I don't know how the turtles. I mean, people just abandon in their turtles in these waters. That's. I, I almost feel bad. Yeah. We should make a poster. These uh, <laughs> tiny turtles are being abandoned in the fountain, and they're just growing in there in their new uh, ecosystem. There's a whole ecosystem of discarded pets and the like in the waters beneath the uh, <laughs> town. I don't know how I feel about this town anymore. So, it's bumming me out. You all have been you all have been fishing for an hour. Would you like to continue fishing in the fountain or go elsewhere? I'm moving to the moat. You guys fishing from you. You uh, since the fountain and the moat are both in the same area, uh, you can split the party up a little bit. Mm. Um, How are you feeling, Granny? You want to stay here or? I'm Cage, Cajun Pete finally pulls. Oh, sorry. No, no, go for it. Cajun Pete finally pulls his head out of the water. I think my fish got away. <laughs> I'm sorry, Keith. You'll get him next time. Uh, but I am concerned if we continue to fish, how are we going to carry it? Our pot is already full. I guess it would be a little inhumane to just keep shoveling turtles into a bag. You can always uh, set aside some time to sell it at the local fishmonger. <clears throat> that yeah, would involve. Coco went and gave them names, so they're like practically people now. <laughs> <laughs> they were always people. Try to find an environment more suitable for a turtle and release it there. What are turtles like? They fell asleep. We can't even ask them. You could just bring them out. Whenever one of them bites me while I'm pulling slime out of the fountain, I take them down to the sewer and I release them in there. That's, uh, that's probably why there are turtles in the fountain. Then. What's the sewer like? That sounds you fun. You gotta feed back into the ecosystem, you understand? Oh, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> the sewer sounds like a magical place. What's it like in there? Well, um, it's, uh, smells, lots of slime. Do we have a key? Yep. <laughs> this key is strangely crusted with some kind of red. Oh. Looks like it could be jam or something like that. It, something red is on this key. You're holding this yeah. key up. It just is dripping in red fluid. <laughs> got this, this key a while murder. back. <laughs> oh. Back when I got the job. Were you painting? Uh, no. I was not painting. 
What's on it? Points. Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Is it safe what? to say this was given to you, quote unquote, by the last dredger? Yes, a lot of the things the dredger has are given to him by the prior dredgers. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> oh dear. I understand completely. Think of it kind of like Highlander. Yeah. There can only be one dredger <laughs> to the dredger. <clears throat> Very nice. Uh, so with that, it seems there's some interest in the sewer. There's some interest at the the moat. Um, as a party, what would you guys like to do? While you're on this map, you can fish at both fountain and moat, or you can head over to the sewer entrance, which is over at the park. Coco's just happy to be with her best friends, but also Coco believes that the sewer might be like an enchanted forest adjacent thing. So. Mm. <laughs> Very okay. excited about that. So Coco's vote is for the sewer. Uh, Brynjar, what about you? Hmm. Well, I mean, we already have interest in the sewer, so let's go to the sewer. Okay. Um, just doing so just doing the 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 votes, Granny. Granny would want Coco to have all of their dreams fulfilled, so she'll go along with the sewer <laughs> sounds like we've got four but she wrinkles her nose sounds like we've got four for the sewer <clears throat> unless there, there's any objections all right and oh, y'all talk about a the, sewer over here the fish <laughs> in the fountain Kill me fish in. in the fountain head up back in the sewer then i got a chance to catch the fish that got away all right then let's uh uh give me one quick moment <clears throat> Excuse me. Boop. Boop. I gotta get the the effects for this area <clears throat> and snow, and we're saving. And I'm put. I miss my cup, Brynja. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I also miss uh, many of the gifts that were given to us by our friends back in our village. <laughs> I miss our bag of aquatic holding. Mm, that's right. And <laughs> that's our the one iron I miss. fishing rod from uh, our, our Racklin friend. I have more money than I've ever had in my life with this 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's coming up my way. All right. You guys will begin traveling through the, uh, through the town. Uh, you'll have to go ahead and uh, if you head on over south, you will eventually make your way over to the park and the entrance of the sewer. You also see another fountain that if you decide to fish at, you can. But you're free to, to begin traveling now. The dredger leads on holding his sticky jam covered sewer key. Yep. <laughs> jam. Hmm. You, uh... Begin your approach over the crowded streets to the park. There are several fountains here. This place is so big. I don't think I've ever been in a town this big. This is so exciting. There must be so many people who live here. Are there so many people who live here? Are you friends with all of them? You uh, are have, have now arrived at the park. This is to the east of you. From there, is, you can see the sewer entrance. Yes. Ah. Along with some old graves. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's fine, I'm sure. <laughs> the anglers that never made it out of there. <laughs> oh, you know, this place is just lovely. You know, when y'all go to the inn tonight, I think I'll just sleep here. <laughs> with the dead. In the graveyard? I think that... No, like, well, away from the like, away from the graveyard. Like the graves are here. I'll probably like any points like in this direction. Only like like twenty feet from the graves. I'll sleep right right here. Oh, oh how about we don't sleep in a graveyard? <laughs> you know, let him rest and all that. There's not many places that have soft grass in this area. You see, uh, as you approach over to the sewer, uh, do you take the key and unlock it? Yep. Uh, as you do so, uh, you're able to kind of go a little deeper underground um, from there. 
And uh, you will actually see that it is considerably dark. All right, who's the one doofus in the group that doesn't have dark vision? It's every part. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am but Grandma a like small human. elderly human. I apologize. I don't, think, I don't, I don't know if fear balls have oh, them either. Um, I have light. Okay. Yeah, and that's how we got around it last time, was I would just cast light on somebody. Uh, I got dancing lights. I have prestidigitation. I can make a teeny tiny little flame. The light spell is so big, though. <clears throat> it's good. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get that going real quick. Flickering light. Update. All right. You will cast the light spell. And then... <clears throat> Pardon me. Oop. You are entering... The sewer. <laughs> then we queue up sewer surfing from Turtles in Time. <laughs> All right, you enter. Uh, it seems to be very dark, and a smell is sort of wafting through. Oh, it's stinky in here. Yeah. That's uh, what sewers are. This water seems especially shallow, but it seems to be coming from another direction, uh, specifically this uh, gated area over here. Perhaps the fishing area is deeper in. Is Slapper still asleep? Uh, yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. I can't ask Slappers where he wants to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. They As got you this little doohickey on the wall. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I was <coughs> just oh, touch oh, don't touch it. <laughs> What's that? Could do anything. You should I turn don't it. I see a label. Yeah. Turn well, it. You probably should. Turn it. I grab put wheels, my hand on the valve. <laughs> okay. Bob. <laughs> you said turn it, right, Coco? Well, if Granny says maybe we should... We should leave equipment that we don't recognize alone. Okay. My fingers slip off the valve one by one. <laughs> Granny Cashew stares calm down. <laughs> Dredge, have don't you make been me vicious these... mockery, you boy. <laughs> have you been in these sewers before? Yeah, I'm down here most nights. All right, so you know where we're going then. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there you see a gate with a keyhole in it. Perhaps the sewer key will fit in there. Yeah, Dredger's going to do that. <laughs> Can you imagine if it didn't? You need the red key card Psych. for this door. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's just get some more of that jam then and uh, <laughs> paint yeah, the key see, red. Yeah, you see a bunch of valves and uh, and levers about. Looky here, a lever. <laughs> uh, you can tamper with whatever you want down here. It makes no difference for the dredging. <gasps> I pull push, the it, lever. push it, 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 push it. Uh, you hear off in the distance the sound of, of rushing water. Oh, yeah, that sounds like good fishing right there. <laughs> Surely we won't that drown in oh, well. here. <laughs> Is the sound of rushing water getting any closer? Uh, it then fades off. Seems to be someone else's problem. <laughs> Fantastic. We just drowned a group of adventurers. Yep, he just killed two people. <laughs> <laughs> kill count. Sometimes do that. It's a random group of adventurers time. in the sewer doing like a quest. <laughs> they just get flooded. <laughs> this ladder could prove useful, but I'm not going to touch it as per Granny's request. Is there um a particular part of the sewer we're going to? Uh, you begin to hear the sound of moving water. Um, and as you approach with your dark vision, 
you will see this giant uh, water area collecting over here that seems to be a suitable fishing spot. I gotta keep going. The lights, oh, the lights moving away from me. <laughs> we lost in the darkness. Yeah. There's a surprising amount of us that don't have dark vision. Okay, I'll say it took about an hour for you to travel into the sewers. It's still uh, very much the evening, or sorry, very much the morning hours. Uh, while you are in the sewer, uh, you do not uh, gain any penalty or benefits. <clears throat> from the weather effects outside. This is a neutral, safe place to fish. Ha ha. But what may be lurking in the sewer may provide danger to you. So, uh, this is where I would like to let you know that some of the fish you catch will not be so appreciative that they've been caught. Uh, which means sometimes you will fish up an actual combat encounter. Amazing. So beware, be cautious, and be ready. Ooh, and whatever you fighting. do, don't get any of this water in your eyes or your mouth or in any open wounds. <laughs> I don't know if we should be fishing down here. I came down here to dredge. I don't know what all you're doing here. C Cajun Pete already has his arm in the water ready to fish and like looks at Brynjar ah. after he says that. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you just heard what the lad said. Just don't oh, get but, any balls. Yeah, I don't, I don't got any wounds on this arm. I'm not putting my face in there like I did with the fountain. I would like to set slappers down right here. All right. Okay. Uh, slapper... <laughs> starts sniffing the air, waking up a little bit, uh, and slowly starts walking over to the water. Chosen where he wants to be. Will you release Slapper into the waters? If Slapper goes in the water, Slapper belongs to the sewer. That you know? <laughs> Slapper absolutely goes into the water. <laughs> You never know what you have until it's gone. Oh, I'm proud of him. <laughs> Granny questions to herself whether this was healthy for that poor turtle. <laughs> <laughs> It'll end up back in the fountain. <laughs> it's literally gonna just be back in the fountain. <laughs> yeah. Circle of life. Yeah, well, like Mark, Mark Slapper. Like next time you catch a turtle, just see if you recognize it as Slapper. Yeah, it's, you got a tag on it now. Oh, ooh, <laughs> getting a little human in here. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, try not to breathe too much of that humidity. Try to breathe slow, like. <laughs> Your lungs will start to itch otherwise. Bring yards just like we should be a bad idea. Here. <laughs> here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Any sewer scrimps in here? Are you sure you'd want to eat something from this? Granted, I already got my sh uh, shoulder length into the water here. I, I'm in for a penny, in for a pound. All the right. has a green hue to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Cajun Pete's definitely uh, engaging in fishing, as is the dredger. Who else is joining in this hour? Oh, I'm fishing so for sure. Coco. I'll fish. Yeah, we'll Hesitantly, fish. but I will also fish. Bringer's going to stay to keep his friends safe. That's 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 very sweet. Uh, I do also have to step away real quick. Okay. Uh, let's actually. It's been about an hour. Let's go ahead and take a small break so everyone can use the restroom. Sound good? Bathroom break. Mm -hmm. okay. Bathroom break. We'll be right back. We're back. And everyone has decided to fish within these sewers. So let us begin. Uh, we will start with, is that, is that Coco? Is that Coco? It's Co me! 
<laughs> is that Coco? As Dodger still posting more animal pics. It's me! Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I feel obligated to also put chickens in there. Okay, I'm ready. Please. No, absolutely. I, I love it. All right, give me a 1D100 roll. No penalty will be applied. Oh, Dash. How the hell does this keep switching back? <laughs> Can I roll again as Coco? <laughs> Uh, yes. A lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> in, in, yeah. In, an, in another place, in another time, Dash gets suddenly wistful about not being able to fish right now. Yeah. You know, in character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me um, a 1D100 okay. roll, I, please. Am I swapped now? Yes, you are. Much better. Oh, yes, but... Is it? But what? But what? <laughs> did you did you maybe hook onto something that may be a bit dangerous? Because there is something on the line. Well, <clears throat> I don't I don't fish. What? I don't fish. What I huge plot twist. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I have done exclusively dredging since meeting Dredger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Coco. Uh, something bites at the line. Go ahead and give okay. me a uh, noodling check. Or uh, not noodling. Fly fishing, uh, you mean? Fly fishing, sorry. Everyone was, everyone's was. been a noodler. so It's a fun word. It is. Yeah. It is. All right. Uh, do I need to... Hold on. Yeah, it should be in your... Uh, yeah, there you go. Was that it? Did that work? No. I oh, can't tell. That's old. Hold on one second. Delete. Uh, <laughs> go into your features. Your. It'll say fly fishing and active features. Okay. Excellent. Twenty three. I will also delete your dredging. I do apologize for that. I can't believe this. <laughs> so can only be one. Don't, I'm so sorry. Don't, don't let him know. Don't let him know. Uh, something bites at the line. You seem to be reeling it in. Very, very, very hard. Uh, and it's mm -hmm. it's beginning to fight back a little bit. Go ahead and give me another check. Uh, another fly fishing check? Yes, please. To see if you are able to reel this thing in. Oh! My, oh, my goodness. God. Ooh, so let's see what you uh, what you managed to fish up. You rolled. Yep, you rolled in. Ooh, boy. Okay. Uh, you fish out what appears to be this sort of living this 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 mobile almost jellyfish Ooh. it is a drain water jelly the drain water jelly is a strange organism um that lives exclusively within sewer drainage water feeding off the lichen and algae growing within. At first glance, it would appear to be a formless ooze, but there's more solid structure to the creature. The core of the organism resembles a jellyfish, while the outer gelatinous form is able to reshape itself in order to capture and engulf swaths of sewer algae. It moves through the water via a set of powerful, uh, oh my God, I can't say this word, of uh, fla fl fl Phalanges? Yeah, phalanges, little fl flagella. Uh, that are able to swift uh, to uh, sift their way through the thick sewage in which it lives. So as you're reeling this in, it just looks like this gelatinous blob that's on the other side of the line. Okay. Do I get it all the way out? Uh, yes, you do. What would you like to do, Coco? Can I tell that it's alive? I assume so. Oh yeah, it's it's moving around a little bit. It's it's slopping around. Okay. Um. Coco will remove the line, okay. look at it, and go, I'm going to name you Flopsy Wopsy. And then she's going to chuck it back in the water. Okay, so as you <laughs> remove it, uh, it immediately attempts to sting you. Please give me a dexterity check. Oh my gosh, it loves me so much. <laughs> uh, boop. A uh, you, you managed to toss this thing out. It was worth uh, four silver pieces, by the way but you toss this thing back to the water, uh, just barely dodging the sting. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and add those experience points now. Checking the- Thank you. You're welcome. I have baby aggro, I have to step away. I understand. There is some time. 
Okay, next up, Cobb. All right. I'm hoping for another zero. <laughs> Let's see it. 1D100, please. Ooh, 99! Oh, oh, holy moly! God. This is it! It's the big one! The big one. <laughs> the big one. All right. Uh, we'll accept that roll. Let's go ahead. Oh, no. Um, yeah. This thing, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah this, thing is, uh, this, thing's, this thing's fucking huge, and it's pulling right now. Okay, let me go ahead and just kind of... <laughs> excuse you me, what's that? No way, Cobb. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> it's him. All right, let's see how you do. All right, fishing check. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, give me a fishing check, please. Here we go. That's oh, a nine. This thing is immediately oh. pulling you towards the water. <laughs> give me another fishing check. He's got me. <laughs> Oh, I believe in you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, oh, I got him on the ropes. Oh, this no. thing just immediately pulls you into the water, breaking yeah, out close of the your water. eyes. <laughs> I haven't lost yet. Probably should have kept your mouth shut with it while yeah, you were in there. He Indeed. just let the water into his mouth. <laughs> The encounter is over. <laughs> the fish has gotten away. <laughs> Brynjar would help him back up to, sh uh, to shore. <laughs> I'm gonna Did be you a little, get some ooh. in your mouth? I'm going to be a little stinker. Give me a fate roll. Roll 1d20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Uh, the ten gold pieces have fallen out of your pocket. No! Yes! Uh, yes! yes! <laughs> My money. <laughs> Back to zero. <laughs> Where I belong. Like the sludge in the sewer. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry for your loss, cop. Rock bottom again. <laughs> B by yeah, the way, it's made it like over. nudges you with her cane. That <laughs> smile that is on his pr portrait never goes away. Oh that yeah, it's it's full. Off. It's full. The expression. Dude. Yeah, he's got the expression. Mm. <laughs> well, well, Carl, you know what they say: the more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Single tear. <laughs> That's nice, Jerry. Brynjar, it's your turn. Oh, go on. Granny Cash is gonna prestigitation him so he's dry again. You no longer <laughs> smell like stink from the sewer. Congratulations. Gonna shit on this wheel. You're gonna shit on this wheel. <laughs> That's a terrible tantrum. Tom <laughs> pulls his pants down, takes a steep turn. What? <laughs> I've had enough. You can never just get so mad as shit. <laughs> uh, Brynjar, it is your turn. Okay. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's you... time for Brynjar's. <laughs> Brynjar's. Brynjar's W coming right All up. All <laughs> right. The main character returns. Go ahead and give me a fishing check, please. Something is on the line. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, immediately, with Ooh, no penalty crazy. whatsoever, he reels in. <laughs> Paw goes in, fish comes out. Yep. Uh, yeah, you guess pretty much it. You go in, you feel a bite, and you pull out. Uh, the drum roll, please. The sludge eater eel. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> let's see here. 
This dark purple sewer fish feeds off of slime and offal that gathers within the sewer canals, acting as a sort of natural cleaning system. Its numbers are maintained by local sewer workers who deploy them for their ability to feed off of a wide amounts of sewage buildup. Because of this, overfishing of the sludge eater eels is often prohibited. Nevertheless, it is a frequent catch in the sewers um, that is often hard to avoid. It makes a great cleaner fish for personal aquariums as well. This is valued at one silver piece and weighs one pound. You're part of the ecosystem don't, here, nah, right? Don't throw that back. Oh, well, look don't at that. Throw he's, it like, back. he's like a natural <laughs> dredger. That thing there steals dredger's jobs. Throw it onto the shoreline here. <laughs> Let it die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let it perish. Vinyar looks at the dredger. <laughs> I'll put it down clean if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... It's quite all right. It's just one of them. Well, Even should... just letting it back, I'm sure you'll catch it again. Well, now, hold on. Maybe the dredger should eat it in order to gain its dredging powers. I'll bite its head Whoa, clean does that off work? its body. I think you... I heard about <laughs> eating the heart of a lion to gain its strength and courage. Maybe it'll work with this eel. Yeah, you I'll, should eat it. I'll eat it if you won't. It's all yours. Mm -hmm. You're really gonna eat this, Coco? <laughs> Do you think I shouldn't? Well, well, I, well, that depends. Do you want greater powers as a dredger? If it's if it's gonna make me an amazing dredger, then I gotta eat it. Uh, mm, uh, we have no idea if it's gonna do that though. But what we do know. Is this gonna help? It's gonna help our dredger friend here clean up the sewer. Oh, that's sewer important. gets clean too quickly. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be out of job again. Then I have to go somewhere else and find a new one for myself, or make a new one for myself. So don't <gasps> throw that, that means... back into the water. Did you well, say don't think make of it so one? much as losing your job. Think of it as getting new experiences under your yeah, belt. Yeah, and then you get to go to new places and meet new people. Ah, it's so fun, don't you think? I still say you should eat it. I think you should eat it. No, you okay. dredger. Grab your hands. I don't think it would be healthy to eat from the sewer. I might give you an upset tummy or food poisoning. Um, I'm going to make a roll here. Okay. To see if Coco recalls the other times in recent memory in her <laughs> life that she's eaten things. Uh -huh. That have completely ruined her day. Of course. Um, I guess would that be a wisdom check? Uh, I, I I leave it up to you, but wisdom sounds good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's like a it's giant biscotti. <laughs> Brynjar, looking at Coco for a moment, goes, <laughs> "This will be a lesson," and then he hands <laughs> over. <laughs> the <email. laughs> what you won't forget this time, I imagine. It's only a pound. Yeah, only a pound of raw shit eating fish, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's that five on macronutrients. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. the probiotics. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You, you know, there's there's good and bad bacteria, guys. I don't know why we're making such a big deal. Out of this. <laughs> Um, Dodger, I'm not going to eat my own shit for the bacteria. I just want to be clear about this. <laughs> look, Coco and I, we are separate people. Uh, understood. Um, but Coco believes this is a good idea. Coco becomes her her most her most feral kobold. Absolutely. Um, and just and yeah, and just eats it. <laughs> you slurp it up like a giant noodle. <laughs> now. Give me a constitution mm -hmm. saving throw. I would love to. Awesome. A 12? Excellent. Your stomach herbals and burbles. And then it settles. Her, her eyes go a little cross-eyed for a second. <laughs> and you're yeah, good. that didn't taste very good. 
it tasted awful. <laughs> but maybe, but me, but that doesn't mean that I'm not an amazing dredger now. So I gotta go try. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is wait. Yeah. Okay. I have a qu I have a yes, question. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So if 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 you know, um, we're all talking with one another as mm -hmm. though past experiences have happened. Yes. Um. So. Is there a way for Coco to attempt dredging as she has in the past, even if I don't have that feature? Uh, I Tread will carefully these waters. <laughs> <laughs> I will say... Um, what do you mean, say, best friend? <laughs> I will say, <laughs> since you are uh, very passionate about this, um, yeah. you are currently watching and observing the dredger. Yeah. Um, every time... The dre it's, it's gonna be a little complicated, but I, th hear me out. Every time the dredger <laughs> catches something, you can make a dredging attempt, but at a disadvantage. What that means is you'll be rolling two d one hundred. Will take the lowest amount. Okay. A after five successful dredges this way, I will let you learn the technique dredging. Okay. Does that sound good? Does that sound fair for you? Sure. Okay. All right. I'll do whatever it takes. All to right. Make Coco, <laughs> a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. This, whole, this is going to get a lot darker, a lot faster. <laughs> than I thought, guys. <laughs> we are under the city. Nobody is here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody okay. patrols this. You have the only key. Yeah. <laughs> um, covered in a mysterious, uh, vicious substance. Um, Cajun Pete, go ahead and give me a 1d100 roll, please, as you're noodling these. Oh! Oh! Dang holy him. shit! Wow. The big That's one. He's him! <laughs> He's back for <laughs> round two. If, so, I, if, if I fail this, I'm coming up missing an arm. So, um, it is 100. I will let you know that there is a rule that if you somehow manage to roll over 100, the angler actually gets to choose what's on the line. Oh my god! Yeah, from from the uh, from the the catch table list. So, uh, but god damn, that's a hundred right there. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, big giant freaking chomp. Let's uh, let's get started. Oh, give me a noodling check, please. Very good. Oh. Uh, this thing starts Ooh. pulling. But you start pulling harder. That is one <laughs> success. <laughs> but we're not done yet. Give me another check. Oh, oh, this thing's really fighting me. Oh, yeah. that is Hell a yeah, second success Man. as you begin pulling this giant creature out. However, we're still not done. I need another check, please. <gasps> Damn! With that, you pull out the most the, the the most powerful lunker these sewers can offer you. Yes, sir. You have cost yourself a psych. Oh god, I gotta see see if I can say this. A psych uh, a lopic anthus. So, let me go ahead is that and a add cyclops fish. It is a cyclops fish. Oh, oh hell yeah. sick. Oh, Cycle this campus? ain't a scrimp. That's how I was saying it. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm, just it back. I'm just bad at pronouncing things. I will actually, as as well, let's see if I can... Uh, I will also add the image, because we actually have an image for this fish. Ooh. So I'll add that to the inventory so you can go and check that out. Ba-ba-ba. Congratulations. Good catch. Good catch. New main character. New main character. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm adding the, can you say it again, Masai? Cyclopicanthus? Yeah, it's like cyclo, uh, cy Cyclopicanthus. Cyclopicanthus. I'm bad at words. All right, let's go ahead uh, and uh, check this bad boy out. So this is a 32 pound uh, lunker. <clears throat> this bulbous lumbering fish features four stumpy fins that resemble uh, ath uh, atherpied limbs. Its head is dominated by a single massive eye set above a sucker-like mouth that vacuums slime and runoff from the sewer canals it roams. The uh, Cyclopicanthus 
is drawn to magical residue and can often be found feeding off the spillage of discarded potions and other tossed off byproducts of alchemical research. Magical residue? What was on the treasure's hand? <laughs> It was, it was jam. Don't worry about it. it was um, just jam. <laughs> Magical jam. You best stop asking questions. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this out so I can show chat. Uh, and this is what it looks like. This is this this is the this this little bad boy. Oh. Mm hmm. It's a little sucker though. mouth. <laughs> Weirdly cute. <Look> <laughs> I want to punch it in its eyeball. <laughs> it's like you kick it really fucking hard on out of here, dude. There are two types of people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Zelda boss. Um, Cajun Pete, this is a 100 gold piece fit oh. catch. Oh, oh my god. We gotta, we gotta figure out a place to put this. Oh, I thought you were like gonna throw it back. We gotta oh, let no, it go. I, free. I mean, like, I mean, like, yeah, if, I don't know if we want to keep it alive or if we're gonna butcher it immediately. Uh, this thing is. Oh, remember, we always sold the big ones we caught. Right. But mm -hmm. do, do we? Did we need to keep them alive or anything? Oh, we just put it. Oh, looks back at the pot. <sighs> Still asleep. <gasps> maybe, maybe, maybe it wants to be in the sewer too. Just well, like why don't slappers. you ask him? You gave him a name. Pulls Slap Bubble Bobble out. <laughs> the turtle sleepily looks at you. Bubble Bobble. Do you want to be in the sewer? Um, it tries to snap at your face. What is this saying, Brinjar? There's a, uh, like, just like what you'd expect from, like, a bouncer, he very gently puts his hand on uh, <laughs> Bubble Bubble's shoulder and goes, <clears throat> don't. <laughs> <laughs> the turtle looks down ashamed. It doesn't bite. Put him on the ground, I'm, see what he does. That's a good, you know what? You're right. Puts, puts on the ground where, uh, where Slappers was. Uh, it makes a run for it. In what direction? Uh, towards the sewer very slowly. <laughs> <gasps> Looks like he made his choice. Goodbye! The water splashes he can behind. the other one company. <clears throat> Do you think they're in love? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Oh, Maybe. that's so beautiful! Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see just, why and not. I just think if they are in love at some point, we got a chance to meet Slapper and Bubble Bobble's kids in the future. <laughs> oh my god! That's so true. Anyway, <gasps> just dunks it into the pot <laughs> <Yep>. first. <laughs> it flops around in the pot. All right. Granny. Well done, by the way, Cajun. <gasps> uh, I just did what came naturally. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see, let's see granny, what that granny, is. Granny, Granny, Granny. All right, Granny. You got something on the line. Go ahead and give me a fishing check. Granny pulls. Ooh, there Ooh. we go. Ooh. An another sludge eater eel is pulled out of the waters. Oh, mm -hmm. dear. Let it die. <laughs> how, how about you just pass that over to me, Granny? Uh, <laughs> Is the treasure just holding out his hand? Just He's holding out his it? big, long hands. <laughs> <laughs> how about Granny, you just put you it in it. my hand? It doesn't I'm, taste good. I'm with the little dinosaur. You should eat it. Uh, I'm certainly not. It, it would kill oh, me. not you, Granny. I was talking to the dredger. Oh, yeah. If you give it to me, I'll eat it. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Dredger, you eat it. That's a great idea. It'll give yeah, you I'll job security. Yeah. Are you sure that your immune system can handle this? Yeah, I'll be fine. Give me the eel. 
<sighs> Granny unhooks the fish and passes it to the dredger. Okay, the dredger immediately crunches it like a water bottle and like twists it up and then throws it into the corner. I'm not eating that. And then he goes back to dredger's. <laughs> I see. That was a waste of some primo meat right there. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't. You didn't. That was very silly. It could have given you extra dredger powers. Uh, the dredger, give me, give me a wisdom check, please. Yeah. It gave Coco extra. Dredger All right. Powers. So you break it in such a way that you unintentionally, like, actually like broke it apart to its most valuable parts and discarded no it off into the corner. So if anyone wants to pick that up, that is 10, uh, sorry, that is one silver piece worth of fish parts that you can use for crafting. He's so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, would, would we be able to recognize that immediately or? I mean, it, it, it's it's like uh, it's like carving a fish, you know, where you kind of like rip out the guts and things like just that. Just debones it like <laughs> automatically. It's actually disturbing how easily he debones this eel. I I gotta say, Dredger, if Dredger doesn't work out for you, if you know your job security is in peril, uh, you could make an honest living doing that. Uh -huh. As Danny always, Cashew picks up the parts. She them. knows what the parts are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got one silver piece worth of fish parts. What a smart lady. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm not even mad you, you, you <clears throat> wasted the potential of increasing your dredging power. That was impressive. Mm. Dredger. Yeah. Give me a 1d100 check, please. <laughs> Oh dear! This has been Watch a waste. Closely. This has been a waste of an hour. Everyone keeps trying to do. Things Everyone keeps about like getting in his deal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he was. This was supposed to be a solo act. And he's got this like party of five goons following him around now. Well, he doesn't. Man. He's like. He's quiet enough that he's not going to say anything about it. But, yeah. Like these people. Yeah, we'll, we'll say when you crush that eel, that was what you did for the... You're like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, an hour passes. It is now uh, still in the morning. Do you continue fishing within the sewer? Uh, yeah, yeah, Coco still would. Okay. Unless yeah. unless everybody Same. was like, let's leave. Uh, All right. I, I'm good to keep up. I mean, we don't... We got limited space to store fish. Excellent. Yeah, Coco. That's the only thing. Unfortunately, well, I can I cannot attempt a dredge. That is correct, correct. because you did not see you you, you, you just, did not see. You just watched okay. the dredger crush a living creature and dispatch it in a corner. <laughs> that unfortunately did not <laughs> That made me disturbing desensit efficiency. <laughs> yeah, mm. that maybe desensitized you mm. a little bit, but definitely I didn't see. help your dredging education. Interesting. Rolls D100. Let's see it. 73. Ooh. All right, you got something on the line. Go ahead and give me a fly fishing check. 18. Ooh, beautiful. Nice. Uh, let me check real quick. Yep, you pull up a catch. Brand new catch too. This is a, a Dicephalus uh, Arcturus. So I didn't mean to move you, I apologize. That's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and God. add. Add this. <laughs> Coco feels the pull of destiny. <laughs> this way. Uh, let's go Maybe ahead. This is how the turtles felt. So, um, wait, you kept. The, oh, yeah, you tossed the jelly. That's right. Uh, I did. This. I gave fit. it a little smooch and a name, and then I put it back in. Uh, this is a fish. This fish may be one of the oddest sights an angler might find in the sewers. As the Dicephalus um, Arcturus has no tail. Instead, it presents a perfectly symmetrical form of two heads at either ends of its body. Twin sets of gills and fins focus towards opposite directions, round out the strange shape of this fish. Uh, the Dicephalus Arcturus's behavior is erratic and contradictory. It moves through the water, uh, straining against itself as each head pursues its often diametrically opposed goals in opposite directions. The only God. time the two ends seem to agree is when fleeing from danger. 
is believed to be the result of a strange arcane experiment. God, I hate wizards. Mm. Coco <laughs> holds it up. Guys, look, I got a booby fish. Oh my God. <laughs> a booby fish. It's yeah, one. look, it looks like two boppies. <laughs> it sort of looks like it's suffering a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're both pulling in opposite directions, uh, moving nowhere. Oh no, it's... I can't tell what it wants. Do you want to be with me, or do you want to be in the water? Sets it down, <laughs> watches it struggle. Uh, it doesn't move, it just kind of flops around a little bit, unsure of where to go. It wants to be with me! Picks it up, puts it in the, puts it in the bucket. Oh, One yeah. of us tells lies, the other tells truth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is worth come up with a uh, name. two silver pieces. Okay. Very good. Uh, Cobb. All right. Come on, Cobb. I got a plan. Where's he going? I'm changing the conditions of the test. Ooh. <laughs> Starting these levers. <laughs> What are you every, doing? Every lever that's currently pumped in a position, I'm flipping to the opposite. Oh, nice. we're yes. drowning. We're drowning in here. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, so you're going to watch as this thing turns into a giant whirlpool. Uh, will this help or hurt, hinder? Let's find out. Uh, and then I throw my fishing line into it. Cobb? <laughs> this is going to fucking flush yourself. <laughs> Cobb, give me a 1d20 roll. We'll let fate decide if this was good or bad. 15. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, go ahead and gain, uh, do a 1d100 roll, but add 10 to the result. Oh, Ooh. fuck yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking hell. Classic <laughs> Cobb. Has this guy ever caught a f <laughs> classic <laughs> cob? Come to think of it, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think he's caught. He's caught, he caught yeah. one fish. Yeah. <laughs> he caught one fish, and it was uh, our first adventure to the lake. Yep. <laughs> Welp. Uh, giant whirlpool now at the center of the uh, area. Uh, fortunately, Cobb uh, has actually provided a nice support for each and every one of you. Brynjar, uh, please give me, or or has he? Brynjar, give me a fate roll, please. Oh, Get in boy. that deep water, that dark water. Uh-oh. All right. Well, that's Marius. Let me go ahead and make sure <laughs> Brynjar is good. Ground is in too many of my games. Uh, go ahead and give me another fate roll, please, as Brynjar. The fates have decided. Uh, the water <laughs> begins pulling and uh, struggling against you. So go ahead and give me a 1d100 check at a minus 10 penalty. Whoa! Nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh come on, man. My god. All right, well, that's a 90. <laughs> <laughs> There's some insane rolls. Oh that. my yeah. god. I, 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 I don't, I don't. I, he uh, always rolls like this as the bear. He keeps doing it. <laughs> I don't it. get it. <laughs> Brynjar. <laughs> this thing is fighting against you. Pulling, pulling at you. Give me a noodling check, Thought please. for a second you were going to do the big booby voice and be like, Brynjar, Brynjar, you're my favorite guy. <laughs> <laughs> the chosen one. All right. Well, Brynjar, unfortunately, that is insufficient. And the mm -hmm. whirlpool pulls the fish away from you, ending the encounter. Brynjar, you are God's favorite princess. I love you, <laughs> Brynjar. I was chosen by a big bear in the sky who said I was meant to do good things, but it slipped off my claws. <laughs> Agent Pete, you're up. Back to noodling. That's a D20 roll first. Uh, D100. Oh, what about the, uh, the whirlpool? Oh! God, you are correct. Uh, 1d20, please. <laughs> He's noodling in the whirlpool. <laughs> uh, this seems to be going your way. Uh, plus 10 to your fishing table check. Give me a 1d100 roll. A fish is just going to slide up his arm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all threes and 100s. <laughs> what the fuck? That's real. That's real cob of you, man. That's all I'm going to say. God, <laughs> God damn. Uh, listen, I got my fish. Anything else is a bonus. Granny. 
Ooh, give me a one. Me. Give me a one d twenty roll, please. All right, minus ten penalty to your table check. Cries. One d one hundred. That's an eighty four. Oh my god. Very mm. good. Go ahead and give me uh, a fishing check. Got it, Granny. Great. Ooh, you're good. Uh, you begin mm. reeling in this thing, but it's got some fight left in it. Give me another fishing check. <clears throat> yes. Success. Uh, as you pull out a phantom biter. Um, uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, this fish is the result of an arcane experiment that escaped into the sewers long ago and has thrived there since. It is the source of some of the tallest tales that urban anglers have to tell, for and for good reason. It is entirely invisible. So as you get it out, yep. you just see this like this ripple in the air, and it just it, the, the, the line shaking about, but you don't see anything. Oh, Granite, you worked really hard on that. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's still on the line. She, She's going to, like, oh. try to lift it up, and she feels it on the line. And she's, she's not going to reach out to it, but she's going to, like, put the line into the pot over here and just, like, dunk it in without touching it. Yep. An angler oh. who hooks one has the opportunity to glimpse the outline of its form among the muck, algae, and sewage that has gathered on its body. It is gangly tube shaped with a mouth angled towards the top of its head. Anglers looking for a phantom biter would do well to come prepared with an extra bucket of sewer slime just to be able to coat <laughs> their catch in something visible. I'm done. Oh, we do got plenty of sewer slime. Fish. I this, think Granny's losing it, Brittany, y'all. This is valued at four gold pieces. Ooh. Oh, I don't I don't think she is. Look at the way she's looking at it. There's, there's something on the line. There's Do you want to the, touch it? There's nothing on the line, Granny. I can, I can see. <laughs> Gra <laughs> Granny, like, this is a real thing. <laughs> Granny, like, whips her her line and, like, kind of, like, not slaps aggressively, but she, like, swings the fish at Cajun Pete. Cajun Pete would make an attempt to at dodge because he thinks the hook is going in his, uh, in his... It's a like fish. Face. You got the hook there. You, there's nothing there, Granny. I can't. Re reach out and touch it. I, I feel like this is going to require an attack roll. There's nothing. I, I'm not going to touch it. It's just the hook. You're making me touch dirty sewer hook. <laughs> she swings it again. I mean, are you really concerned? You're, you've been knuckles deep in the slime already. Uh, miss. I'm not. I'm, I'm not touching it, Granny. Do it yourself. There is a fish on this line, it's though. A, it's just a, a real shame. The dredger, all you're hearing is this rambling from everyone, Jeez. and now you're feeling this whirlpool <laughs> swirling around. Will it hurt? Will it Will it help or hinder? Give me a, a fate roll, please. It was supposed to be an easy job today. <laughs> and then these guys <laughs> followed him into the sewer, and now they're swinging invisible fish at each other. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm saying. It's, and oh it's starting to worse. throw off Dredger's game. <laughs> that's a minus 10. Please give me a 1d100 roll. Oh. All right, still good. Still good. I actually think that helped me because there not there a max amount I can roll on the junk check? That before is correct. Work? If you rolled over an 80, you would not have caught anything. So this actually did help you. 76 is now back in that realm. You just look over at Cobb and see his smug look of <laughs> satisfaction for pulling the lever. Everyone benefited from it but me. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't. I did not! I okay. also didn't, technically. Well, you caught a fish. <laughs> I did catch a fish, but I didn't benefit from it. The Dredger, give me a 1d100 roll, please. Yep. Yeah. Eight. All right. Uh, you managed to fish out a wooden flask holder uh this wooden flask holder is worth one gold pieces the wooden stand can hold six flasks three per side a carpenter's tools check dc5 in one hour of time repairs it to working order all right puts it in his bag flask 
holder. Yeah, you're getting, you're still getting your money's worth. Dredger's made like 11 gold pieces so far. Cobb's at negative 10, and uh, we got 100 gold pieces over there too. I'll, I'll, Wait, what I'll, do you mean negative 10? Well, <laughs> your, your profit <laughs> you is... Was, sorry, Cobb, you owe the fish money. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah you, owe, you owe money to the banks. Yeah, oh. <laughs> your profit, your profit margin's minus 10. You've lost money. I'm going off the grid. <laughs> Fishing rod was loan. <laughs> Um, the water kind of swirls around a little bit as the whirlpool kind of dies down. All right. Would you like get to, to use it? Huh? I didn't get to 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 do a whirlpool roll. Uh, yeah, you don't I get to or no? Uh, no, you do not, because the hour will have officially passed at this point, and now <laughs> you, and now the whirlpool kind Whirl. of settles a little bit. Uh, assuming you guys are going to be continuing your fishing ventures in the sewer. Uh, Coco, would you like to make a dredging attempt? Yes. Okay, so I'm rolling at disadvantage, right? So yeah, you'll be rolling 100s. 2d100. We'll take the lowest roll. Come on, bitch. <laughs> okay, well, well at then. the very least, you're safe from the dredger for one more. Like, <laughs> that's roll. true. Roll, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, you're kind of, like, fishing around with the water a little bit, but unfortunately, you're just throwing out sewage and everything like that, but nothing really happens for this hour. Okay. Cobb. We're gonna try a more traditional fishing approach here. I really want to see Cobb get something. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm just on, gonna. Cobb. I'm gonna. Cobb, Cobb needs a win. I'm just gonna cast Cobb my line. Win. No nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> no schemes. Just throwing a line in the water. Okay. Bro. <laughs> Say something, bro. Say it, bro. <laughs> Tell it to me. Hold on. I want to hear you say. It. Hold on, man. Oh, you do catch something. Oh. It's on the hook at least. Pull it out of the water. You got you. You caught some trouble. Uh, roll a one d one hundred, please. <laughs> wait, no, no. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Give us an encounter. Come on, man. Roll one d one hundred, please. Eighty six. What the fuck? Why do I only roll high when it's <laughs> trouble? Bro. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm facing myself. You fish out this beautiful hat that looks like it hasn't <gasps> been, 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 like it looks in perfect condition. And that's because you have fished out a hat of disguise. Oh. Oh, damn. And Sick. while you're doing that, uh, you hear footsteps from behind you. Oh. As oh. this little sproutling walks into the sewer. <gasps> Brandon! <laughs> oh, we just got rid of the turtles! No! He's alive! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Mara! Oh. <laughs> Brandon! Hello, <laughs> oh, everyone! <laughs> Oh, it's Laura. good to see you again, oh, little bud. Good to see you all. <laughs> Cobb's just caught himself a real nice hat. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna I, I slowly love hats. peel the hat off of my head and replace it with a new one. <laughs> so, wait, this is this, wait. Depending on what this hat does, this is great. You'll actually be able to emote. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you, no you longer cursed with the expression. You fished <laughs> out a hat of disguise valued at 200 gold pieces. Damn! Oh my God. Holy oh, moly! Yeah. <laughs> That's more than the fish! Oh, sorry. My apologies. 400 gold pieces. What the fuck? We can get a house! Let's We're go! A house. <laughs> it's time to buy a house. <laughs> but first, I put on the hat of disguise. I disguise my face into a terrible frown. <laughs> <laughs> and I can let my sadness out. <laughs> uh, Brandon, so much has happened. We found turtles. We found two turtles. I named them. One of them was named Bubba Bobble, and one of them was named Slapper. And we put them out on the side, and they chose to go back in the sewer. And we think that maybe they were in love, and maybe they're going to have babies. And then one day we can find Slapper and Bubba Bobble's babies, and then they can be our best friends in the whole world. Turtle babies. 
have some dirt in my pocket. If they come back again, are they are they gone now? They're gone. Well, yeah, they went back in the water. But you should keep the dirt, cause what if we see them? That's right. I should always keep dirt in my pockets for emergencies. Yeah. How have, how have you been? Where are we? Is this so a good. Sewer? Oh my gosh! Wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. Drags. Okay. <laughs> this is Dredger. Dredger, this is Brandon. Hi, Dredger. Dredger's are my you? best friend. Wow. <laughs> You're down. beautiful. Okay, what, so what is this thing? <laughs> That's Brandon. This is Brandon. Are um, you permanently yeah. like that or only when there's a full moon? <laughs> oh, my God. I wanted to get back to work. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Holy shit. So cool, Coco. Where did you find him? Oh, I I met him like really a long time ago. I haven't seen him in forever. But he's doing amazing. He's like the best judger in the whole world. Wow. He you even know. has holes in his ears so he can put bows in there or something like that. That's so <gasps> cool. Oh my gosh, I should make him bows for his ear holes. <gasps> That's a great idea. Okay, I'll do that tonight. Don't well, tell him! Well, oh, you um, guys are screaming this. He's just <laughs> reaching in the sewage uh, water just looking I, for something. <laughs> I imagine that all the dredger hears at this point is kind of like a like a shell-shocked, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> tinnitus <laughs> sound. <laughs> Holy shit. Brandon, will you be joining in the fishing today? Oh, yeah. Do I have a fishing pole still? Yes, absolutely. Oh, good. You gonna be fishing here in the sewer? Yeah, sewers are great for fishing. All right. Then we will continue on with Brandon joining the fishing. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's Oh my God! Who was the last person that was it? Was it? It was Cobb. Yeah, the Hat of Disguise. Holy shit! Okay, yep. Brynjar, you're up. All right. One D one hundred, please. Ooh, Kidoki. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you. Wait a second. You catch something uh, at the end of your paw. Go ahead and give me a fishing check. Ooh, so sad. Um, yes, uh, you fight. It's a little nibble at the end of your paw, um, but it seems to have managed to worm its way away. Um, the sort of like, this sort of slippery sludge escapes from your paw, um, failing to catch this fish. Pulling his paw, out, he'd give it a shake and sort of look down at the water and go, hmm, not really, not really getting good vibes from here, but we'll keep trying. Cajun Pete, you're up. Oh, I, I disagree. I think we're getting some great fish out of here. <laughs> the three of you just reaching arm deep into this water. <laughs> just three people reaching into the sewer. One of us is going to get sepsis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cajun Pete, uh, you get uh, a little a little nibble at the end of your finger. Go ahead oh. and give me a, uh, a, a noodling check. Something's biting. Nope, not anymore. The nibble oh, stops. <laughs> I, I swear to God, when you said that there were footprints coming up behind us, I thought it was going to be like someone be like, excuse me, that's my hat. And then battle <laughs> would I begin. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, give that back, please. Initiative. Initiative. Uh, next up, Granny. Granny gives Brandon a little pat on the head as she passes by. Granny! It's Brandon's good to arms. see you again, Brandon. It's good to see you too. His arms kind of go up like vines and like helicopters and go all over the place out of excitement. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Ooh. Granny. All right, you get a, a heavy bite at the end of your line. Give me a fishing check, please. Get it, Grandma. <gasps> Grandma streams. <laughs> Ooh, you seem to be uh, pulling in this thing. Uh, and this fish that you're pulling in, even though it's fighting against you, seems rather lifeless within the water itself. It barely looks like it's moving. The vibes are off with this one. I need another fishing check, please. Huh? <laughs> Granny looks perplexed. And she pulls! Ooh, and then from there, as you start reeling it up, you'll kind of watch as it evaporates away into the water. And uh, there's nothing on your line anymore. What? <laughs> 
Uh-oh. Well, better luck next time. <laughs> Could we have seen, like, the, uh, the, the silhouette of what, what Granny yeah, was, it was catching a very, in the Yeah, it was a very, a kind of longish fish. Okay, so that, that fish I saw, that one there, the other fish, I don't think there was a fish there. There was definitely a fish there. Right, this time, but not the last no, time. No, this one is gone. Right. The previous fish, uh, it is still in the pot. That look in the pot. I don't see the fish. Dredging POV. You have to touch it. <laughs> <he's still> <laughs> it the slow zoom in, the tinnitus whine, the muffled <laughs> chatter in the background. Dredger, give me a 1D100 roll, please. Supposed to be a normal day of work today. Ooh, uh, that is successful. Give me another 1D100 roll. Let's see what you've managed to fish out of the water. 80. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, you pull out a set of fishbone dice. These dice are Ooh. kept in a drawstring pouch, which is very waterlogged and should be replaced. Another gold piece, piece of junk. Mm, mm. Deposits in bag. <laughs> of, of other trash and refuse as you continue to do there. Pretty good, 12, 12 gold pieces so far. Brandon. Yay. Go over to your go, go ahead and head on over to the uh to the to the open water over here to cast a line. And Ooh. in your in your features you will see fly fishing. Do I go in the water? Oh, you don't have to go in the water, no. Okay. It, it's very deep water and it's it's slimy and filled with disease. Oh, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fly fishing. Oh yeah. Oh, I am so sorry. Uh <laughs> I skipped a step. I need a 1d100 roll from you first. I apologize. Oh, okay. We're checking mm -hmm. the table first. 100. Okay. Ooh, Brandon's got something on the line. Oh, N I feel it. Now, give me a fly fishing check. Okay. Fly fishing. Uh, even though it looks like a really weak pull back, Brandon still manages to pull out a drain Crawler Pleco. Pleco. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Let's see what it is. The Drain Water Pleco, or sorry, Drain Crawler Pleco, excuse me. Um, a member of the Sucker Mouth Pleco family of catfish, this particular species, thrives on the mildew of lichen that builds up throughout the sewers. <clears throat> the drain crawler Apleco is notable for its fanned out lateral fins that looks almost like the fins of a ray. This gives a fish a unique outline resembling a ruffled blanket laying against the canal walls. The fish gets its name from being just the right size to swim up drainage pipes, which it often does. This is valued at two copper pieces. Ooh. Brandon holds it up. <laughs> Isn't it neat? It kind of looks oh, like oh. a cape. He like drapes it on his back. <laughs> it's like, he's, uh, it's like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's like it's flapping around oh. and it's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love it. You should totally wear it like that all the time. <laughs> uh, I think it might uh need some water to survive, Coco. Well, of course. Oh, oh Brent, gosh, Brandon you are takes so it, right. puts it in. You're so smart. <laughs> you know a lot about fish, definitely. All right. I know this. Is, I know Laura just arrived, but this will be the final hour, and then I must wrap up because my throat is uh, dying now. So this will have Fair to be. Enough. <clears throat> this will have to be our final round. But I'm really glad we got branded in. Uh, let's go again. Uh, Coco, are you making a dredging yes. check? Of course. Rush to the water. <laughs> Let's see how you do. <laughs> 2D100, please. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay. Roll again. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, unfortunately, a successful dredging check. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> 1D100, please. 56. All right. All right. He's going to be so proud of me. 
The dredger is like basically staring like laser beams into the back of Kobe's <laughs> head right now. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh -oh. on, a, on a lower than let's say an eleven, the dredger is gonna start plotting how to put Coco down. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. It's one fluke. Okay. All right. It's one fluke. Thank God. It's one. What? What? What are the odds they do that again? You pull out a well-crafted leather coin purse, and it seems to be filled what? with something. Opens. Roll one d10. Inside six. are six gold pieces. Wow! Whoa. It's, it's Cobb's you money. Love the <laughs> it's just fucking Cobb's bag of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want this? Holds up the gold. <laughs> uh, us, us, us. I see an emblem on it. It looks like Cobb's. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love you know. that. There's a hole on the bottom of the uh, coin, uh, the, the, the 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 purse, where four coins have fallen out. Amazing. This Hands is gold. still more money than I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Look at this cool bag I got. Oh, hell yeah. It's all coming <laughs> together. It really is. That is one out of five successful dredgings. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I just have to survive four more. Survive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up the bag. I'm going to look at the hole at the bottom. We say, it even has a second opening for easy access. <laughs> oh, no, so right. <laughs> All right. Next up, Cobb. <laughs> Let's hope the fake can keep going my way. <sighs> Big breath. Let's see how you do. 1D100. 48. Okay. That's, that's, that, that's something. A catch. That that's is a almost catch. better than half. Okay. That's that's still a catch. That's very good. Give me a fishing check. Eight. Which is still good enough to catch. <laughs> oh. This fish basically oh. wants to get caught, dude. Yeah. It doesn't want to Please be catch me. Oh, Another, fucking kill me. <laughs> Another drain crawler pleco. <laughs> oh. oh, now you can oh. have matching capes with Brandon. <laughs> Just follow. This is the first step on my journey to the big one. To the big one. <laughs> I love it. You are, you are dooming whatever crew goes with you to catch the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. Uh, worth two copper pieces. And that's a net gain of two experience points. Congratulations. Nice. Very, very cool. I stick it in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brynjar, you're up. Give me a 1d100. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, case that's not pink. the right check. You're... No, that that's is. Not... That is? He, that was the rolled... what? He rolled oh, a five. yeah, you rolled fishing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cation Pete, you're up. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on. Just getting... Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, that's a 58. You got something at the end of your arm. Go ahead and give me a fishing check. Oh, here it comes. All right. Well, you had something at the end of your arm. It has once again... It's the same... How do you do this? It's the same <laughs> thing. That you grabbed last round, like you're just <laughs> reaching in for two hours, going get, get, get here, and it's once again slips out of your hand. I, I think this fish is taunting me. Granny, you're up. One d one hundred, please, Granny. Okay, the dredger, you're up. Very sad. It's supposed <laughs> to be a normal day of work today, yes. and now there's this little flower creature, like. Prancing around directly in front of the dredger where he's supposed to be dredging. Hi. <laughs> You're strong. Brandon pats his neck muscles. Dredger picks them up and puts them here. <laughs> 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 it gets back to work. <laughs> strong. So oh, oops, strong. Oops, sorry. Uh, that was a D199. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, that's definitely not kosher. 31. Uh, I believe 31 is, is, let me, let me double check, um, the dredge again. Oh, no, thir you need a 36. So, unfortunately, 
distracted by Brandon, you uh, uh, do not get anything this hour. So, so sorry. Brandon, what are you doing? Brandon looks up at the dredger and says, Do you play football? I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Brandon right, goes right back to where he was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god. Holy and shit. I guess he throws, uh, he oh. wants to fish. Yeah, 1d100, please. Okay. Oh my god, very nice, chat. You can say nice now. Nice, uh, dude! Holy nice. shit! <laughs> nice! Wow! Sheesh! <laughs> it's the sex number. <laughs> what? Does, huh? does Coco say that? I <laughs> no, these roles don't exist in real life. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Something about Coco saying that. Coco, what the hell? Uh, You... <laughs> Get something on the line. Go ahead and do a fly fishing check to see if you reel this thing in. Oh, that is a success. You uh, reel in the, di the Dicephalus uh, Arcturus, which is uh, essentially, Brandon, imagine a fish, but without a tail. And instead of a tail is another head of a fish. A double fish. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Granny, Granny. She's oh, he's Brandon. like tugging on Granny's uh, <laughs> shawl. I have a fish with two heads. That's a good catch, darling. Very where, good. Where Wait, should I, I put him caught... so he lives? Oh, we have a little pot back here. Oh. Come with me. Okay. It's right there. It, it's it, you can't see it, but it's right there. <laughs> Granny points well, at it. Brandon drops the fish in. Yay. Very happy that has two heads. All right. That's such an interesting little fish. So, with that, we will wrap up today's uh, fishing adventure because my <laughs> voice is about to go bye bye. However, it's time to calculate experience points. <gasps> this this time with a very generous bonus um, because uh, we're having some fun fishing. And maybe one day you'd like to go to some of the more uh, dangerous areas. Uh, for this one, I will not uh, be dividing up the catches. And we will take the experience as it is. Mm. So you all gain 799 experience points. Whoa! This is what I'm Whoa. saying. We all br ride Brynjar's coattails to the top. I'm just saying. <laughs> that wasn't me today. That was that was Cajun. That's true. He did catch yeah, that call, big lone I call that big fish. That big I don't think fish, I caught anything today uh, aside from fish, a turtle. That big fish <laughs> itself was worth a level up. So, uh, yeah, you guys are now level two. Congratulations. Let's I'm go. back to where I was before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm further than I've ever been. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Well, guys, I do have to go. Um, but thank you so much for playing today. Did you all have fun? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. So we will uh, we will continue this another time. Once again, thank you so much for letting me play this with you guys. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the fishing adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, by the everyone. book. By the book. By the book. <laughs> by the book. By the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Catch you bye. next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.